My name is Suleiman and I wanted to reflect and share with you some of the transformational leadership successes I've had over the past two years during my family medicine residency at the University of Toronto and also to talk about my MD next step. Early on in residency, I felt extremely frustrated and unsatisfied because of the very high volume of patients with mental health challenges. It was frustrating because other than prescribing medications, I felt completely helpless because there wasn't much else I could offer and I felt that I was letting my patients down big time. This started me on a path where I was determined to take leadership and make a difference. In order to make psychotherapy education instantly easier to access, I successfully lobbied for building a resident library full of helpful texts and purchased over $1,000 in books with popular psychotherapy manuals like Mind Over Mood at our residency site. After reading and studying these manuals, myself and my colleagues felt better apt and more comfortable with offering primary care, mental health, and made a huge difference in feeling how rewarding it was, again, to practice the full breadth of family medicine. I wanted to help scale up my efforts and reach the broader University of Toronto and hopefully Canadian audience. To do so, myself and Dr. al Hoshani took on the task of creating a survey and focus groups where we could meet with residents to better understand their needs and learn how we can help better advocate for each other in terms of psychotherapy education and also for our patients with mental health challenges. To help disseminate our research, we're super grateful for having the opportunity of presenting our findings at three conferences and counting. Our current project, especially as I transition to practice, will be to increase psychotherapy training among family medicine programs to make mental health care access easier for patients and more rewarding for practitioners. I also wanted to get involved with medical advocacy and join the North York section of the OMA. Within a short period of time, myself and, and the section chair, Dr. Michael Perret, created a series of eight talks called eight Creating talks. Meaningful Dialogue and Allowing a Social Atmosphere Outside the Work Setting for Residents and Physicians to Unwind and Share Ideas on Sensitive but Important Topics. But by far, my favorite of all my leadership experiences has been the Resident Wellness Committee where I was able to do what I love most, and that is planning and organizing super fun events and retreats that brought my fellow residents and their significant others to enjoy awesome ethnic foods, experience amazing activities like group escapes, and also share our highs and lows together and give each other helpful advice on how to succeed in practice and life in general. Even studying for our licensing exams turned out to be a fun social event as I made it a priority to ensure that our mock exams were well catered. The greatest part of all was that we enjoyed all these events and yummy food at no cost at all to any of the residents as I was able to help raise $5,000 in, in an external sponsorship. I also helped mentor my fellow residents on how to secure this funding so that residents could have these amazing opportunities for years after. Moving forward, I plan on continuing to develop my leadership skills to help those most at need. I'm continuing my advocacy for medical trainees and physicians by helping to build quality and easily accessible training on areas of need such as mental health and psychotherapy. And I'm currently building online automated modules for cognitive behavioral therapy for, for illnesses like insomnia, chronic pain, and mood disorders. From the patient side, in addition to working on public health education, I'm also excited to start working for a new initiative called MD Connected that uses telemedicine to offer primary care to patients in remote areas. Finally, I hope to continue working with organizations like the OMA to work on physician and patient advocacy and also working in academia and teaching to do my part in helping to train the next generation of phenomenal physicians. Thank you.